just thought I would do this video um, as an update to um, the one I posted a couple of weeks ago about getting Botox injections to see how it would, how or if it would help the dystonia caused by my CP. So it's been just over two weeks since I got the first injections. And yesterday I spoke to the consultant who administered the injections on the phone. So I thought I would do this as an update. So following having the first injections, I didn't suffer any pain or discomfort in any, any sense. Um, I don't know what I was expecting to be fair with whether I was expecting my, my arm to all of a sudden be robotic but I kept looking at it, at it over the course of the couple of days that followed um, the injections um, and it was at the end of that week I started to notice a big difference um, and I'll put, as you can see in the photo that I've put up, um, which was a before photo my my arm was quite bent and I couldn't really straighten it. Um, but now you can see a massive difference. Um, my arm is not as bent at the the elbow, and I've also put up a another photo so you can have a closer look at the difference. Um, and I can notice the difference, especially when I'm doing things like getting support to get my underarm shaved and things that when I'm having a shower I can really straighten uh, my arm to allow that to happen a lot easier um, and I even managed to shake the hand of one of my support workers just to see the difference because I can turn my wrist a lot easier now so obviously the muscle has relaxed um, so I can I can definitely see the difference and I'm glad that I've that I allowed the, the consultant to go ahead with the injections. We agreed yesterday that I would go back and see him in July because by then the effects of the first injection should be wearing off. Um, so I'll keep you posted as to how the effects of it um, go on over the next couple of months and how um, I feel as I, as I start to need the injections again. Um, I don't know if they would allow me to film the procedure being done, but I'll certainly ask that question and maybe I can do that for a future vlog. But as I said the last time, it's a case of keep watching this space.